Over the last few days, we've seen an increasing escalation of the situation in Kiev. Following the passage of some very repressive laws by the president, which came into effect uh, this morning and which uh, seriously restrict freedom of association, freedom of assembly, we heard that uh, four protesters have died overnight. Um, three uh, were shot by unknown people um, and it seems that uh, four died as a result of being beaten by riot police officers. Subsequently today um, we heard of a possible fifth victim of shooting. Following these events, the Ministry of Interior responded by saying on its website that its officers were justified in using firearms. They've also been given greater powers to use um, water cannon, for instance, at any temperature. Uh, it's currently minus 10 Celsius in Kiev, um, and to use uh, other types of stun grenades. We've seen increasing violence on both sides. We've seen increasing violence by protesters who are throwing fireworks, bricks, paving stones at riot police. Um, and we've seen riot police uh, responding uh, in the same fashion. Amnesty International is calling on the Ukrainian authorities to investigate uh, the four deaths, to uh, investigate and find out who is responsible for the three shootings so far. Uh, the Ministry of Interior has denied that its officers were using firearms last night. However, there are other agencies in Ukraine empowered to use firearms. There must be no impunity for human rights violations by law enforcement officers in Ukraine.